side bridge. So you're gonna go elbow under shoulder, knees bent, heels in line with your hips, okay? Stack the hips directly on top of each other. And from here, you're gonna think about, you've got a crease in your hip there, you're gonna lift up, take the pelvis forward, take the crease out of the hip. So hip crease is here, you're gonna come forward and up, take the crease out of your hips. Focus on squeezing the glutes on the way up, so squeeze the glutes, strong on the supporting leg, strong waist, strong supporting leg, and come back down, control back down. So it's forward, take the crease out of your hips, and back down so you start in position. Up, and back down, okay? Bridge. So, as much as possible from what you can see, you want your knees coming directly out of your hips, and then your feet in line with hips and knees, okay? So they should pointing both forward. You're gonna tuck your tailbone under, squeeze your bum, you're gonna lift straight up. Now you're trying to get as high as you can, still keeping the glutes engaged so you've created a diagonal straight line. Keep that tuck under, come back down. Tuck under, straight back up. And you want to make sure that your knees stay in line so they shouldn't be falling out or in on the lift. You also want to focus on there being equal weight in the feet and therefore you should feel like it's equal glute and hamstring strength that's creating the push, okay? So tuck under, push up, come back down, okay? Half squat, okay? You're going to take the feet just rather than hip width apart, turn the feet out ever so slightly to sort of 10 and 2 on a clock face, okay? You're going to think about engaging the core so you stay upright and you're going to just half squat down think about pushing the knees out slightly okay so the knees go out you stay upright so you should feel like that switches on outer hip and side of your glutes as well as having to use your core to keep you upright don't be scared about sticking your bum out a little bit if you need to that's fine so just thinking about pushing the knees out, engaging the glutes, engaging the core, okay? You don't need to go any further than essentially halfway between standing and parallel. So we're just halfway and back up, okay? The split squat. So if you need to for support, it's totally fine to have a wall next to you if you're doing this when you're feeling quite unsteady. So standing, you're gonna take a good step back Tuck your tailbone under so you're in a good upright position. Back heel is raised. You're going to drop down. Keep this knee over the foot so it's not falling in, it's not falling out. Drop down so we're creating two right angles with those legs and come straight back up. And we're just going to stay there in this static position. Okay? Keeping knees and hips in line, down, keeping yourself upright. And like I say, if you need to, you can just put a hand on the wall to steady you, that's fine. Side plank dips. I'm going to give you three options. So you can start at the beginner and progress as you find them easier to do. So elbow under the shoulder. You can start with knees bent, feet in line with hips. And you can lift yourself up into a diagonal straight line. Supporting leg underneath and the waist is doing the work. Now you can either go there, you can lift the top leg so that foot's on the floor, or you can go to two feet. Again, diagonal straight line. And what you're going to do, I'm going to go back to the starting one for this, keep yourself in that diagonal straight line so the, the glutes are helping to push you forward and keep you there. The waist and the muscles on the outer hip of the supporting leg are pushing you up. And then you're going to ever so gently dip and lower. Now you're trying to keep your hips stacked in that straight line, keeping the chest open. So we're not rounded, it's all in the straight line, and it's just a small dip. You only need to move about an inch. Okay, it's just about the control of the movement. There you go. Thread the needle. This is done in a side plank. So you can go bent leg, heels in line with hips, lift yourself up to your diagonal straight line. You can have one leg lifted, you can have two legs lifted. 
Okay? So, from our diagonal straight line, glutes are pushing us forward, waist supporting leg, outer thigh, hip are pushing us up. You're going to stack the hips to start with, and then you're going to rotate under and look between the gap under your arm and between your waist. So, take it round and rotate. So, you want the whole rib cage to go with you, but you're trying as much as possible to keep this hip lifted. Okay? So up and through and look behind you. 